beginning to look like that 11th person of ours has started working overtime. Think so? Well, I'm not sure all of this isn't merely part of the test to see how we deal with it. Here, let me give you a hand with this. Eh? Get out of here! Don't start acting like an idiot just because I'm a Meneer Tata. I'm just as tough as you are, and when I'm a man, I'm gonna be even tougher. Got it? Yep, beauty like that being wasted as a guy would be a sorry shame. <laughs> She's the type who would drive you out of your skull, though. I don't think you could handle her. I know. It's like this all over the ship. It's the heat from that blue sun causing them to grow like crazy and turning the ship into a regular jungle. Sure I'm glad I don't have hay fever. That stuff looks deadly. Temperature rises. Vines start growing. Growing. Fever! <gasps> Tada! Hey, what's up? Where are you going? Tada! For. Conductor vines? What? Listen to this. Tropical mineral plants of Seguran origin, when artificially grown, can be substituted for nichrome or copper wiring. The outer shell absorbs heat to promote the growth of the vine. But if temperatures rise too high, a protective crystalline coating forms, cutting off the flow of electricity. And, unfortunately, the protective shell provides an ideal environment for the Del Red Spotted Fever Virus. Spotted Fever Virus? Immunization can be achieved by injecting a weakened strain of the virus. We're running out of vaccine, and all the laboratory mice are dead! No vaccine. Hurry up with that vaccine! We still have 500 children to inoculate! Hurry! We'll inoculate all the children under four years of age. If we aren't rescued in a week, it's over for the rest. We don't have nearly enough vaccine, only 200 injections. Where are we gonna find 2,000 coffins? We've tried everything, up to and including Agent Black. Those vines just won't die. Isn't there anything we can do? I have no idea. If there is, I haven't found it yet. It might be a good idea to lock up all the weapons, sir. Confiscate all the stun guns and lock them in the main cabin. Yes, sir. <laughs> I was here before. You were where before? Aboard this ship. King Mayan was right. Tata, what's wrong with you? Tata, Tata, Tata! Tata, time to take your medicine, Tata. Come on. Mother! It'll keep you from getting sick. Here we go. Be mommy's big brave man, okay? Good boy. There now. My mother gave me the vaccine. I was four years old then. Seems like it was just yesterday. Huh? I gave him the oral vaccine, Captain. Now don't forget your promise. You said you would take care of him personally. It's my mentor! Uh, my mama fell down. Mother! Can't somebody help her? We're running out of vaccine, and all the laboratory mice are dead! If the story is true, we're on borrowed time. It's the deadliest of all diseases, and we have no vaccine on the ship. Now that I'm reminded, I can remember stories about this cursed death ship, Esperanza. How could he possibly forget such a thing? Tata was only four years old at the time. Give the guy a break! The death ship, Esperanza. <laughs> yeah, there's a song by that name. Here's the printout on the temperature test I've been running. I isolated and heated a section of the vine. At 40 degrees centigrade, crystalline secretion started. The Del Red spotted fever virus began appearing almost immediately thereafter. 40 degrees. 
That's right. Then I ran a situation analysis. Our interior temperature will reach 40 degrees in eight days. What are you saying? That we're all gonna die? No way! I've got too many plans for the future. Dell Red Spotted Fever. <laughs> Is that it? We have no hope? You have to have host animals to prepare inoculations. We don't have lab mice. We all have to die because we don't have any mice? They'll send vaccine if we signal them. Huh? Are you suggesting we hit the panic button? You mean just give up? How can you even think about such a thing after all we've gone through already? Stupid mice. Nobody's gonna make me fail this test. I'm not taking it for the fun of it like King Mine. It's a question of honor, but I doubt if you understand that. Oh yeah, well I'm here because I want to be a man and I doubt if you understand that. We don't have to decide yet. There's time. <laughs> hmm. That's right. Let's give Froll time to think it over. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder, when the Elder encouraged me to take this test, did he know I would wind up aboard the Esperanza? Am I supposed to know what to do about this situation? We have hundreds of leaky pipes everywhere. The whole forced air system is shot. It's a wonder we had any temperature control at all. This is gonna take a lot of work. <sighs> I see what you mean. We'll have to replace these plates. They're completely corroded. Looks like somebody started repairing them and got interrupted. It's hard to even imagine how frantic they must have been, you know? A really sudden change of temperature could cause the whole system to overload and break down. Maybe that's what happened. Hey, you might have something there. You know, if a warp malfunction brought them out too close to that blue sun, they'd definitely have a sudden rise in temperature. Tell me, whose turn was it to cook today? Uh, uh... What do you call this soup that requires a fork? It's a king. You're eating dirty dishwater. <sighs> what are you trying to do, poison every one of us? Take it easy, king. No one's thinking straight in all this heat. Don't take it personally. <sighs> when are you going to finish those repairs? I don't know. We only have five days left before the virus comes to life. We're doing the best we can. Your fooling around could be fatal. Our time is running out. <sighs> Who did that? Shut up, Mayan. I've had all the royal crap I'm gonna take from you. You may be a great king on your world, but here you're just a load of excess baggage. A useless big mouth. If you can do the work faster and better, why not pitch in and help us out a little bit? Nobody dares talk to me like that. Oh, yeah? It's just you and me, king. Come on. Better be careful. I can... Here I am. You ready for some action? Have you gone insane, Froll? I'm ready when you are. Froll, stop it! Ah! Look out! Don't try that again, buddy. I'm not scared of you. You're acting like a couple of five-year-olds. Come on, everybody. Now stop fighting and let's talk this over. It's too late for talk. <laughs> you like banana cream? Here! It took me all day to cook this dinner. Stop it! Hey, I didn't start this fight. I'm just defending myself against these maniacs. Nobody calls me a maniac. I'm warning you! <laughs> Stop wasting food! I haven't had a chance to eat my dinner yet! Here, catch! <laughs> yeah! <laughs> Have all of you gone crazy? See what you started? 